Okay. Um, hi, everybody. I think uh, we can start. Thanks. Uh, thanks for people joining here and uh, and via Zoom. Uh, so first of all, let me introduce the speaker. Uh, we are very happy to have a talk by by Mohamed Takuk, um, who is uh, who is here as the Astroparticle and Cosmology Laboratory. Uh, so he is a specialist on uh, um, quantum field theory, and they did his studies at the University of Tehran. Um, before coming to France, uh, he did a, a DOA, uh, Diplôme d'études avancées à l'École Normale Supérieure de Paris, and then a PhD, theory, PhD thesis in um, quantum field theory at the Sorbonne University. Uh, then he went back to Iran, uh, where he worked from 1997 till uh, 2020, uh, and uh, with, a, with a very large and successful career, university career with uh, several projects and 23 uh, PhD students. Uh, since April 2021 um, is um, one of the awarded of the post program, uh, which is uh, something that is uh, being uh, um, organized by the uh, Collège de France uh, and key um, help uh, for two years uh, people and researchers who are um, in danger uh, and are forced to, to exile. Uh, so. Uh, Within this post program is uh, currently at the as professor of exceptional class at the APC laboratory of the Paris City University, and today he will present his uh, his work. Uh, and uh, we hope the goal of this uh, series is to have something uh, accessible to the uh, uh, public, which is as, as large as possible. So uh, we are very very keen to 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 listen to this talk on the City Universe. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, this for opportunity, I present my work here. Observation showed that the expansion of our uni present universe is accelerating. Dark energy and dark matter presented for explaining this observation. Inflationary model explained the evolution of our early universe with an extremely rapid exponential expansion. The scientists use a scalar field and cosmological constant for explaining this model. The Ducita space-time is a good approximation model for our universe with these two facts. What is the Ducita universe? I would like to present here from the geom uh, geometrical property and a symmetrical group. <laughs> and what is the observer independent point of view? Ambient space formalism. I would like to focus on the ambient space formalism uh, since it is an observer independent point of view. First quantization and second quantization is a review, recall, a very fast in the ambient space formalism. And then at the classical point of view on quantum density geometry is discussed. Finally, the quantum state perspective for quantum density geometry is studied. A preliminary fact. Geometry is constructed from the matter radiation field. Geometry in the Riemannian geometry with metric compatible and torsion free can explain with the metric tensor field. The, gra the gravitational field is equivalent to the geometry of the space time. It's, uh, it's from the general relativity. The gravitational field cannot be separated from the matter radiation field. That means, see, there are, we, if we have the matter radiation field, we have the gravitational field. See, we have the gravitational field, we have, we have the uh, curved geometry from the general relativity. In general relativity, the concept of time is depend on the observer. In our discussion, observer is equivalent to the metric. The observer, choice the metric uh, coordinate, coordinate system and the coordinate system define the metric of the manifold. Usually in quantum theory, the evolution of the quantum state is defined by time and it breaks the relativity principle because time is observer dependent. 
The effect of interaction or observation result in the collapse of the quantum state, which is the probabilistic process. In the, in the case of the gravitational field, field, gravitational field cannot be separated from the matter radiation field. This is the important point, which I would like focus on this part for quantum gravity. Therefore, it is impossible for an observer to formulate it quantum geometry. And we need an observer independent formalism. That means ambient space formalism. The preliminary fact is particle is described by its trajectory in the space time. And a quantum particle described by a tensor and a spinor field. A quantum field described by a quantum state. The particle and field are immersed in the space time, but the quantum state is immersed in the Hilbert or focus space. The field operator play the role of the uh, connection between the Hilbert space and space time, because one side is immersed in the space time and the other side, the quantum field operator act on the quantum state. This is the preliminary fact we use in this part. Observer independent concept. Definition of a space and time concept depends on the observer or the choosing coordinate system. In just the space time, there are four, four types of coordinate system. Closed, flat, open, and static. Closed, flat, open, this is the space part. The space part is space part is closed like three-dimensional sphere. Flat space is flat, but the space time is curved. Then the definition of the time and the space is depend to the observer. For a better understanding of what the space time, our focus should be on concept that have a unique definition for all observer or concept that are observer independent. What are these concepts? Some of them are Dositta hyperboloid. For all the observer, the Dositta hyperboloid is unique. Ambient space formality, I would like to present here. Dositta group is 014. Dositta group algebra. I would like to use this concept for construction the first quantization, second quantization, and quantum Dositta geometry. Geodesic distance between two points. It is an observer independent concept. It is very important. Light cone propagation. The massive field and massless field is defined by the light cone propagation. It is very important concept in Dositta space time. Dositta field operator algebra. The escalar two point function. Or understanding comes from observation and visualization. Then ambient space formalism permit us to visualize a space time. In the following, we will use this concept to present quantum field theory in Dositta space and quantum Dositta geometry. Ambient space formalism. We begin with a very simple example, two-dimensional sphere. The two-dimensional sphere is immersed in a three-dimensional mint of the space. On the sphere, one can choose the intrinsic coordinate theta and phi. But one can choose the ambient space coordinate. What is the ambient space coordinate? If it's equal to z, when 
x puissance 2 plus y puissance 2 plus z puissance 2 equal 1. Then we have three dimension, but one constraint. Then two formalisms are equivalent, but it is observer independent, but this coordinate is depend to observer. Now we can generalize this simple example to the Dusita space time. The Dusita hyperboloid is ex explained with the, this equation. With this metric. This is equation of an hyperboloid. The hyperboloid in the two, uh, two dimensional hyperboloid for visualization uh, show by this equation, the uh, picture. In Minkowski space, for an observer at a rest at a point in a space, for example, here, all of the space time is observable and exists. The observer, it is here at rest, but Time pass. Time. Then in the in this point, here is past the in point future of this point. This is a space like. But when the uh, observer passed in the time, all of the space observed by the observer. But this situation is different for the observer in the dosita space time. Since the foreign observer done in this point, the future is here, past is here. Then when time is past, all of the dosita space time cannot observe by the observer. That means there are not exists for the observer, but we need the all of the observer, all of the space time for construction a covariant theory, symmetrical theory. It is very important. This point in the end of the talk, I come back for this and present the space of quantum gravity. What is the Hilbert or Crane space of quantum gravity? Metric. The dosita metric element is written in the intrinsic coordinate and in the ambient space formalism. It is very interesting. Here, light cone propagation. The light cone propagation here it is equal to zero. Then it is unique definition for the ambient space formalism and intrinsic coordinate system. It is equal to zero. It is important concept in the Dutch space time, the massive field and ma matrix field defined by the light cone propagation. The matrix field propagates on the light cone and the massive field propagates inside the light cone. The concept of the time and space is defined by an observer in the global coordinate system. T is time, P, theta C is a space, three dimensional sphere. But the ambient space formalism, it is not in definition for a space and time. It is parameter does not exist for an observer. Where it exists time and a space for an observer. It is important concept for quantum gravity. Since we consider the quantum gravity, we need an observer independent point of view because observer observes the universe pull-ups take place. Don't one cannot construct the quantum gravity from an observer dependent concept. The metric in the coordinate system described by this relation. It is interesting to note that the metric 
in interest coordinate is replaced with the theta alpha beta. In the ongoing space formalism, theta alpha beta is transverse projector, project a spinal tensor field over the dotita hyperbole. It is important to note that the dotita group act on the ongoing space formalism in the linear form. That means R alpha beta. It is constant and it is independent of coordinate space. But in the intrinsic coordinate, it is a complicated relation between extreme and its. And one cannot uh, give uh, much transformation between T and T theta phi is dependent to the point of the space time. On every point of the space time, it, it, would, uh, it must define the matrix transformation. But in the ongoing space formalism, R is independent of these two points. It is very important for construction of the quantum gravity. The covariant derivative replaced with the tangential derivative, x dot tangential derivative equals zero. That means it is over the hyperboloid. Then it is not outside of the hyperboloid. Symmetrical group is SO14. All of the observer accept this symmetrical group. But in the ongoing space formalism, it is very simple to formulate it. For uh, the, the Casimir operator of the Dositer group can be written in this following form. Is a Laplace Belshami operator on the Dositer space time in the intrinsic coordinate. Then the, it is a relation between the intrinsic coordinate and the ongoing space formalism in the in the by the uh, operator of Casimir, M alpha beta is the generator of the group. In the ongoing space notation, it can be written in this form. From the Casimir operator, one can define the field equation. The field equation can be written, free field equation in the total space time can be written by this equation. Q0, expectation value of Q0, is the expectation value of the Casimir operator, which classifies the unitary irreducible representation of the Dositer group. There are three representations. Principal serial representation, complementary serial representation, and discrete serial representation for massive and massless field. From the free field equation, one can define the Lagrangian density. And one can generalize this construction to the interaction case by using the gauge theory, gauge transformation. But uh, I, I don't enter this discussion for interaction field. Now, I would like to construct the Hilbert space from Dusita algebra. But before explaining this Hilbert space, First quantization, I would like to recall FOC group because the procedure is exactly the, main, the same. If one cannot uh, calculate this uh, for FOT, one can generalize to the Dusita group. Uh, from algebra, LX, LY college for LZ. Uh, define the ladder operator and one can construct the Hilbert space. You, Anthony, uh, uh, studied to the etudion in the uh, quantum mechanic. Then, from this Hilbert space, one can construct the unitary irreducible representation by taking the generator of the group in this Hilbert space representation. If we use the LI in this Hilbert space representation, one can construct the unitary irreducible representation, but alpha i 
are the group parameter. There are three group, the three parameter, alpha, beta, gamma, OLEP, angle, and other parameter. They construct a topological space. It is very important to note that it is the topological space. Then one can construct from this military irreducible representation the field, the square integrable function on the sphere, one element of it. Then from the plan uh, and by the continuous operator, one can obtain the field equation and by functional formula, one can define the relation between the different topological states because there are three, three dimensional states, it is two dimensional space. Then we can generalize this construction to the density space time. The Hilbert space construction has been considered by Thomas and was completed by Dixon on 41 and 61. From the algebra, one can construct the one particle Hilbert space. This one particle Hilbert space is the uh, one particle space on in the first quantization. J of are the generator of the density group about the structure constant, J1 and J2 are two numbers. Labeling the unitary irreducible representation of the maximal compact subgroup of SOHR and uh, MAJ and J, if J do take the value. New are set of parameter numbering the column and row of the generalized matrix. Assuming continuous or discrete value, it's classified the unitary irreducible representation of the city group, principal series, complementary series, and discrete series representation. From this Hilbert space, one can construct the unitary irreducible representation of the city group. It must be completed by Takashi. Alpha I are group parameter they construct a 10 dimensional topological space. Then from unitary irreducible representation of the square integrable function on some subspaces of group parameter, topological space can be constructed. It must be done by Takashi and in this paper for various field is presented. Then one can construct the field equation similar to the SOC group and Planchevel formula determine the relation between the function which are defined on a different subspace of group parameter topological space. It presented by Takashi and Boros Muskela use these subspaces for defining the Boros Fourier Helgason transformation on Dossier space time. Now, I would like to present second quantization, field algebra, and construct the focus space. Before, consider the uh, second quantization. I would like to present briefly the simple case, harmonic oscillator. The harmonic oscillator algebra is are presented by this relation. I identity operator, A and A dagger and N defined by the ladder operator, A and A dagger and N is number operator. Then by this algebra, one can construct the Hilbert space and one can generalize this algebra to the quantum field. To obtain the focus space in the second quantization, we can start it from the following infinite dimensional closed algebra. 
this algebra it is very similar to the this algebra. A, a dagger, identity operator. Here, operator, operator, identity operator is not operator, it is function. It is commutation to point function, which is zero for a space like separated point. It is important. We use the quantization from the space like separated point. W is white man two point function and omega is the vacuum state. But it is a, van, uh, a type of Van Neumann algebra. It is in finite dimension. It is closed, but it is in finite dimension. And one cannot use these relation for construct the quantum field because GAX extreme is singular. It is, there are singularity in the limit X limit extreme. For solve this problem, the operator must be defined in a tempered distribution sums on an open subset of a space time. Then its relation can be used where G defined by this relation, F is test function, G is test function. In this space spacetime, it is uh, completely explained by, constructed by Boros and collaborator. Then one can assume the field operator can be written in terms of the creation part and its annihilation part in this form. Then creation part create a state and annihilation part annihilate a state. By defining the number operator, annihilate and create, then it does not change the state without normalization. Then we obtain this commutation relation. It presented by Boros Moskela. It is very similar to the this algebra. Then one can construct the Hilbert space or focus space for this quantization, for this space. Then, which is a similar to the Hardman oscillator and we obtain the focus space for every state in the Hilbert space and psi in the Hilbert space. Now using the infinite dimensional closed local algebra, this one can construct the Hilbert space in a distributional sense on an open subset O of the Jupiter space time. What is the one particle state and what is the ground vacuum state? The action of the annihilation part of the field operator on the vacuum or ground state yields zero. And annihilation part becomes zero and the creation part produces the one particle state. We assume that this particle, one particle state is the particle state constructed in the first quantization. This construction consists of two main steps. The first one amount to fixing the vacuum state norm, which has been done in the null curvature limit. The norm of the vacuum state can be fixed in the null curvature limit. The second one is to identify the one particle Hilbert space with that one involved in the first quantization. The focus phase can be defined as the usual as the Hilbertian sum, uh, the one part uh, vacuum state, one particle state, two particle state, and n particle state, and the n particle state are built through symmetrical tensor product of the one particle state in our scalar case. The field operator is a map on the focus space. No quantum geometry. 
quantum density geometry. Quantum density geometry is equivalent to quantization of the metric in the organ space formalism. And it's conformal sector. The conformal sector in the Riemannian geometry is not degree of freedom and it, it, it is not considered. But the conformal sector become a dynamical part of the metric in the quantum theory. From this quantization, the, the trace of energy momentum tensor become not equal zero and the dynamical part of the metric become a uh, conformal part of the metric become dynamic and it must be quantized. From the classical perspective, quantum geometry is the sum of a different dotita hyperbola. The dotita hyperbola it is unique in the classical theory, but in the quantum theory, there are different dotita hyperbola. This is many word interpretation, but I would like to present the, uh, the Hilbert space or uh, train space of the quantum gravity. The ran to symmetric tensor metric field satisfy this equation. The operator Casimir of the ran to symmetric tensor field, the trace and its divergence. The background field is not a traceless, but is divergenceless. Divergencelessness. Then it is not an elementary field a la Wigner sense, but it can be associated with a unitary representation of the field group. No irreducible representation, unitary representation, a reduced representation. The massive elementary spin two field with the, this again value in the principal series representation and the new do equal this value satisfy the fifth equation. It is an elementary tensor massive field. Then the metric tensor field, the theta alpha beta can be constructed from a massive spin two field and a constant field. This massive spin two field appear in the literature as a massive gravity. And this zero mode problem, a constant appear as a zero mode problem. Now we consider the conformal sector of the metric. The conformal sector of the metric satisfies this equation. The trace is not zero, divergence is not zero, but she do call for beta is zero. Then one can construct this conformal sector from the a vector field, which is defined by this relation and makes less minimally coupled at color field and massive spin two field. The massless minimally coupled scalar field. The problem appear here, the massless minimally coupled scalar field. For quantization of this field, I'll improve the covariant canonical quantization with the positive north state must phase. And one cannot construct a covariant quantization. Two problem appears in the, uh, the process of quantization, appearance of infrared divergence and breaking of dosity invariant, which is analogous to the standard gauge invariant theory. Then the massless minimally coupled scalar field can be considered as a gauge field. In this paper, I show this fact. This problem were solved by using crane space quantization. In crane space quantization, the group double or triplet formalism is used and the composable representation of the square group, resembling the usual gauge theory quantization. 
The Meissner's minimally coupled scalar field into city ambient space formalism is considered as a gauge potential or connection field in the quantum geometry. Crane space. For a massive quantum field into city space, Hilbert space is a complete space, which means each state can be evolved in this space. But for the Meissner minimally coupled scalar field, and then for quantum geometry, the Hilbert space is not a complete space, which means the effect of the field operator over a quantum state result in a new state, which is out of the Hilbert space. We obtain the state with a negative norm state. Then to obtain a complete space, we must use the Crane space. Crane space for one particle state is the Hilbertian sum of the Hilbert space, positive norm state, and anti-Hilbert space, negative norm state. One can generalize this procedure to the focus space and construct the Crane space for quantum gravity. No. The, the, we have the algebra of the quantum geometry, massive field, with a massless vector field, massless minimally coupled scalar field. Then we define the state of geometry, quantum geometry, by this crane space, which is a complete space. The crane space is constructed from the Dositer field operator algebra which acts on the quantum state. In this paper, we present the Hilbert space construction, which is completed. Hilbert space plus anti-Hilbert space, we obtain the Crane space. Then one can, uh, one can write the quantum state of geometry in terms of the complete Hilbert, the complete Crane space by this relation. Where in a set of parameter taking perhaps a continuous, maybe a discrete set of value and n are the orthonormal basis of the crane space. The state with positive norm and negative norm. For a brief review of this algebra and construction of Hilbert space presented in this paper, operator algebra and quantum state of geometry is a quantum perspective on quantum geometry. It is after the observation that the quantum state collapses and in reality is constructed. T is the time that is defined by an observer. Before observation, we have the quantum state. The reality observation may be had a pure quantum property, such as the squeezed state in the nonlinear optic. Still, since it is an observation and depend on the observer, we call it a classical perspective. When the quantum geometry is taken into account, observer dependent per description of the quantum physical system is called a classical point of view. And an observer independent description is a quantum perspective for quantum geometry. In summary, in the presence of quantum gravity or quantum geometry, we must use the crane space, which plays the same role as all parts of the space time. In classical theory, causal part and opposal part for an observer. It is the Crane space, it is the Hilbert space, it is the anti-Hilbert space. We need all of the space for construction of quantum gravity, but the significance of the anti-particle space, it must be fine. For example, in the flat space time, the negative norm state is a space like separated point. The time like separated point has the positive norm. Then 
the length in the Riemannian geometry is positive, but in the residual Riemannian geometry can be taken zero positive and negative. Similarly, in quantum geometry, the negative normal state is needed to obtain a complete space. But by imposing the reality passive, they can be eliminated from the physical space. Then the physical space in the positive normal state. But we need all of the space for, cons for construction, a covariant quantum gravity. In the city space, for an observer, the observer cannot see all of the space time. There are an even horizon, but it is needed all of the space time for construction the covariant quantization. Conclusion: We present the Dosity universe in an observer independent point of view. The first quantization can be constructed by the Dossier group algebra. From the algebra, we construct the Hilbert space, the first quantization. The second quantization can be constructed by the field operator algebra in a distribution sums. The escalar gauge potential as the conformal sector of the metric may be interpreted as the interaction field between different dosita hyperboloids. Two perspectives on quantum dosita geometry are presented, classical and quantum perspective. Classical perspective is dependent to observer, and quantum perspective is independent of the observer and it's explained the quantum state. For quantum geometry and quantum gravity, we must use the crane space quantization, which the requirement of positive definiteness is relaxed. It is a revolutionary idea in quantum geometry, similar to the replacing Riemannian geometry with the pseudo Riemannian geometry. General relativity or Pseudo Romanian geometry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arima. Questions for the speaker? Yeah, I have a question. What happens? Okay, so for a lot of applications, the center of space is only in approximation and you don't have so much symmetry. So can you generalize these methods to, you know, something in cosmology where the, the center of symmetry is only approximate or I don't know what, what how should I? The, the generalization uh, to the cosmology. Yeah. Mm. I mean, do you understand the question? You, uh, you're, you're studying quantization. Quantization of all the smudge symmetry is completely minus maybe conformal symmetry. Oh, co conformal symmetry. Uh, and, 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 um, it's of interest to look at things with a lot less symmetry. Uh, in the quantum, the, the quantum geometry, in the quantum geometry, uh, the basic compatible and totally free. Riemannian geometry. Then, when we consider the uh, quantum geometry, uh, the geometry is different of the Riemannian geometry. 
because the conformal sector in the conformal sector of the metric we obtain then in you never it is not zero then in the first approximation we must use the conformal geometry the uh, this is the conformal sector of the metric then in the first approximation from the, the geometry we have the wide geometry but the consequences of this wide geometry in the uh, cosmology i don't know may it is uh, but it is uh, evident after the quantization the geometry is changed it is not your geometry in the first approximation and the good uh, and the simple consideration uh, one can identify the geometry as a uh, conformal geometry may i don't know i understand your question good or no <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Other questions? <laughs> yes. Um, what can be, is there some hope with your work to uh, understand something better for inflation or <clears throat> dark energy now, which are approximately the seeker uh, universe? Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, the, the dark matter it is a part of the geometry i think then uh, dark matter or dark energy uh, it is the uh, behavior of the geometry chain it is not the matter i think uh, in my in my view uh, uh, the geometry uh, for example uh, the, the, in the court of this sense, the geometry uh, need the matter and radiation. But in the uh, large space time, the geometry uh, explain the, uh, the the acceleration and what uh, do not need the I think majority <laughs> dark matter and dark energy. Then uh, maybe. The dark matter, the cosmological function, it is a sort of dark matter. No, but for the seeker, yeah, the cosmological constant gives a quasi the seeker you me, right? So, what you're doing is on the seeker, it's somehow related to this cosmological. Is your work uh, some has conclusions on how to study, yeah, no, no, acceleration? No, no, no. The first quantization is second quantization and quantum geometry is safe. Another question you had the five and the metric in five, uh, five components. What is the fifth uh, dimension in the geometric? It's that car one zero at this condition, a uh, car five reduced to four digit of freedom. It's the alpha zero. Alpha uh, and alpha, alpha zero and zero quadrat. Five components, and in this condition, we have four components. That means hyperbole. Report on project over the hypothesis hyperbole. Then uh, it is equivalent to the chance according to the I I was lost when you were linking your work to the many work. The many work uh, in the quantum geometry, uh, there are not. In the quantum, uh, in the classical geometry, the hyperbole is unique. It is one hyperbole, the Jupiter space time. Then, after quantization, the metric, then there are not one hyperbole. The fully geometry, non, non commutative geometry, explain the uh, 
the hyperbole is not unique. Then there are um, very uh, many hyperbole. Every hyperbole is one universe. We infinite, infinite, or the infinite hyperbole. Any questions? So if there are no questions from Zoom, I think we can stop. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there are coffee and biscuits uh, outside. Uh -huh.